If you're a movie buff, and more specifically if you're an iPhone-owning Netflix user, then this episode of App Judgment is just for you. App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, I'm David Prager, and yes, we know that Netflix has been a pretty big sponsor of App Judgment, and that doesn't change the fact that tons of you have expressed interest in what the best Netflix app for the iPhone is. For one reason or another, Netflix has yet to develop an official iPhone app, so I've picked several of the most downloaded movie apps to compare. So first, let's quickly go over the very basics of what Netflix is, which I'm sure you all know. With a Netflix account, you can rent movies online, and they snail mail DVDs to you. More recently, you can even stream movies online directly to your computer. The main things you do with the Netflix web interface is pick the movies you want to see and set the priority in which you want them shipped to you. There's a queue for DVDs and for watch instantly. So with those basics in mind, let's see what some of these apps can do. This first app is called PhoneFlix. It's free and lets you browse and reorder your Netflix DVD in instant queues. You can also search for and add movies to your queues as well as see the list of popular movies. Next up is the 99 cent app called Easy Movie Pick. This app's focus is just like Urban Spoon, which lets you randomly pick a restaurant to go to like as if it was in a slot machine. You sort by genre and release year and number of stars. You can add any movie you land onto your Netflix DVD or instant queue. Finally, Easy Movie Pick allows you to view and delete or reorder items that are in your Netflix queues. Next up is iRent Movie. It's $2.99 and 100% Netflix focused. Your queues are very easy to access, edit, and reorder by holding and dragging movie titles. All of the popular lists are quickly accessible and you can get details of synopses of movies, ratings, and maybe even a YouTube trailer. Next we've got the app Now Playing. This app also lets you access all of your Netflix queues, select movies for details, reorder and modify your queues, as well as see all of the popular lists and recommendations, and pretty much everything the Netflix web interface provides, minus many of the trailers. It doesn't stop there though. Now Playing also lets you use your location to find movie theaters near you and what movies are playing there. You can search for movies by title to see where they're playing. Finally, you can see lists of upcoming movie releases, recent movie releases, and DVD releases. Now before we get to our final judgments, plus a couple of bonus apps, let's hear from our most obvious of all sponsors. That's right, this episode is brought to you by none other than Netflix. Netflix has more than 12 million members and is the world's largest subscription service for streaming movies and TV episodes over the internet and sending DVDs by mail. For just $8.99 a month, Netflix members can instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies stream to their TVs and computers and can receive unlimited DVDs delivered quickly to their homes. With Netflix, there are never any due dates or late fees. Members can select from a growing library of titles that can be watched instantly and a vast array of titles on DVD. Among the large and expanding base of devices that can stream movies and TV episodes from Netflix, right to members, TVs are Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and this spring, the Nintendo Wii console. You can find movies you love easily. You can browse, search, or see our recommendations for you, or Netflix recommendations for you. They even have a special back-of-the-box feature that lets you get the, any detail of any movie instantly. As a Netflix member, you get Blu-ray movies by mail in about one business day. Shipping is free, and there are no late fees or due dates. Blu-ray plans start at just $5.99 a month. So if you've never tried Netflix before, and if you're an App Judgment viewer, which you clearly are, you can get a two-week free trial membership. Just go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you. On to the judgments. First, PhoneFlix. It's free and will do the job of queue management, but ads are obtrusive and the interface is not the greatest. Skip this one and don't download. For easy movie pick, you can't search for movies and you can't lock in the variables on the random search and you can barely modify your Netflix queues. This app is quite horrible and there's no way you should download it. For iRent Movie, again, this app is $2.99, but you start to get to see a little bit of what you're paying for. Features look attractive and are easy to navigate and use. You get quick, easy, and mobile access to all of the primary Netflix features. I was about to say a definite download, but don't pay the $2.99 and don't download this. Here's why. The Now Playing app does everything that iRent Movie does as a Netflix interface, but doubles as a movie and theater finder, a release schedule, and it's completely free. Now Playing is a definite download. Now here are a couple great bonus apps. For $1.99 you can get Pocket Flix that has a great user interface and is solid for Netflix only users that's worth the download. And finally, Movies by Flixster also lets you find theaters, buy tickets, see trailers, and manage your Netflix queues and lists. All for free, it's a great app and a solid download. There are clearly a lot of amazing apps for Netflix management, movie tickets, trailers, and reviews. 
Personally, I can't wait until Netflix launches their own official app that I hope trumps them all, including what I think is the Netflix mobile app Holy Grail, and that's streaming movies live to your phone. I'm David Prager, and if we've missed any huge apps, or if there's anything in particular you want to see on App Judgment, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or you can subscribe to our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. You can also send me feedback through my Twitter account, and that's at DLPrager. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.